Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. We want to thank our newest patrons. Yes, we want to say a huge thank you to Donna and Spooky. Thanks, you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining us and, and supporting the channel. Again, Patreon has exclusive videos that go up several times a week. This one um, was going to be part of a bigger video, but I'm deciding to do it by itself. You know, in case uh, you missed this, every president, really, it seems, has made a trip to Israel. And 45... Forty-five is no different, as you see, you know, here approaching the wall and putting the hand on the wall. We've seen everybody. This is the Western Wall. It's the only portion of the old temple that was destroyed in 70 A.D., according to the history books that's left. Ah, uh, yes, you know, this is, again, about the system that is in charge. And as we, as uh, anyway, I tend to call it the the system that came to us from mars because again mars is the god of war and when we look to the ancient sumerian texts we see these beings that are called the quote-unquote lesser gods and again the translation of gods is really just saying uh beings that have a little more technology than those that were grounded on planet earth or a lot more technology yes or a lot more technology yeah absolutely when you see everything that's going on uh the picture is really clear to me anyway with some of the things that are happening this let's just listen listen to the words of 45 and we had an interesting morning because we had we had power um but we had no internet i was gonna do this a long time ago um, as we've been up for like six hours already. Um, but we had no internet. We did have power, but the power out outage was basically at the cable company. So that was curious. But listen to the words of 45. Israel is a tiny little spot compared to these giant land masses. It's really a tiny spot. They actually said, is there any way of getting more? It's so tiny. Israel is a tiny little spot compared to these giant land masses, it's really a tiny spot. They actually said, is there any way of getting more? It's so tiny. Israel is a... It, it, what's he trying to say? See, it, if you listen to him closely, just like when we were listening to the other statement where half the people said, no, he said, I, I am a Christian, and the other half said, I'm not a Christian. It, it, it's it's the jumbling of the words. It's double speak. It is intentional double speak, because this person seeing it as is there a way to expand? It's so tiny, and here you have David Ike saying, um, you know, he's calling it for what he sees it. That yeah, forty five. Of course, he's easily viewed as the lesser of two evils. Yet again, evil is evil, and there is a, a, a method to the madness. Listen to this part here. Let's play this. Okay. Eventually, our borders will extend from Lebanon, the Great Desert, which is Saudi Arabia, and then from the Mediterranean to the Euphrates. And who's on the other side of the Euphrates? The Kurds. And the Kurds are our friends. So we have the Mediterranean behind us, the Kurds in front of us, Lebanon, which really needs the umbrella of protection of Israel. And then we're going to take, I believe, we're going to take uh, Mecca, Medina, and Mount Sinai and well, purify those places. Purify those places. Uh, just like Canaan was purified so long ago. In fact, here, here's Netanyahu himself, a speech from last September showing in green the land that Israel is intending to take by military force. Yeah, I mean, I I just keep hearing the word purify it. So what does that look like? Just look to the Bible for answers. That's all you got to do. It'll tell you. And this right here is Christians for Israel International. And it says God's land. About 4,000 years ago, the almighty creator of heaven and earth promises the territory of the state of Israel to patriarch Abraham and his descendants as an everlasting possession, even under oath. And then it goes on uh, again. 
you know, the Arabs today own a much larger tract of land than the Jews, plus an enormous amount of oil and other riches. But the patch of land called Israel is begrudged. So, again, it's taking it all in under control. The greater Israel. Now, I found it really uh, interesting. First off, you know, please do, if, if you haven't watched Mauro Bellino and Paul, Paul Wallace, you know, again, when you look to the original translations, it's not what you're being told in your King James Bible or in, you know, New Living uh, Word version. Any of these, it's been changed. Look to the original Hebrew because most people have such short memories, they have such little energy to actually learn the truth, they just keep believing lies and distortion. And it's in the plural. And Elohim is not the creator. Uh, it's not a word used, it, original intention for the creator of this universe, and it's in the plural. The Bible is not about the creator of this universe. And it really is a story of conquest. Uh, it is a story of this world being invaded and taken over by an ET, an extraterrestrial force. And yes, you know, it is that reptilian-led, ultimately, it's the AI-led uh, force that is, is what has been in control of this planet recognizing that there is those beings in the Sumerian text called the EGG, also known as the lesser, quote-unquote, gods, which were in charge of Mars. Mars, as we know, is, is a planet that suffered a lot and had major catastrophe. And the power structure from Mars came to Earth and has taken control of the Earth. If you look to the original languages, when you look to the Hebrew, the Aramaic, the Greek, then you get a clearer picture. If you look past the Bible and you look to the origin of most of these stories, whether it's Sumerian, Akkadian, uh, Babylonian, or other traditions, you'll find consistently that this is an extraterrestrial invasion is what happened. And those quote-unquote lesser gods are the ones that are the the basis of the power structure on the planet still communicating with the other quote-unquote gods, again, that we know, uh, again, as the Anunnaki that are controlled by the Draco and ultimately the AI system. So, you know, please do check out these works because if you're reading any of the, <laughs> any of the translations that are not in uh, the original language, you're, you're just reading a fabricated story that is giving you a different point of view in order to control. And when we look to uh, Christoph, this is the English version, English captions of uh, the psychic Christoph uh, Joukowsky, who's done a, a real amazing body of work, literally helping uh, police to find missing people. He's so similar to Alois Ermiler. He's kind of like our day's version of an Alois Ermiler in some ways uh, with his ability. You know, he was talking uh, about Greater Israel, and he saw in if I'm a, if I got my translations right, um, I believe he was he was looking out to 2028 ish and looking at the state of affairs, and he saw. Or, you know, Russia having had great losses, um, and in fact, there was some sort of some sort of day of recognition of something that was catastrophic that had happened. But what was interesting was that he saw Israel enveloping that map that we saw. He saw certain countries that no longer existed; they were all absorbed into Israel. So what you see in Gaza, as they have declared the uh, end of operations in Gaza, because basically they've washed it all away, uh, it's been purified, quote-unquote, according to the words they use, and, you know, they're, they have no intentions uh, of giving it back, and in fact, they're going to expand. So here, there's only 1.89 thousand subscribers. Here, he's got 325,000 if you do speak Polish. Uh, there's a bigger body of work here because not all of it has been translated. Uh, again, when you look to what is planned, look to the past. 
And you can see it in the Old Testament. Actually read the Old Testament. Uh, you know, destruction of the Can Canaanites. That was a genocide. Deuteronomy 20, 16 through 18. You are not to leave even one person alive in the cities of these nations that the Lord your God, which actually, again, mistranslation, that Yahweh, who is an, uh, a high one, a, you know, one of the judges and rulers of this conquered human humanity and this conquered plain, uh, that we find ourselves living in, has given to the, you know, the ones that are actually coming from Mars to Earth. And again, when you say there's no aliens around, well, humans are not indigenous to this planet in the sense that we come from other places here. This is a refugee planet in so many ways, uh, or, you know, refugee plane of existence. Uh, because of the war that has been transpiring in more than one place. So again, it, that the one that we know as Yahweh has given to you as an inheritance. So you must completely destroy the Hittites, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. Now, what will they say in, in defense of this? They'll say that, you know what, those people... Were, were sick. They were twisted. They had a degenerate society. They did all sorts of abominable things, things that you might see being symbolized in our <laughs> ceremony that just happened in Paris or that we see in the leadership. But does that, that mean that every single you know citizen of the U.S. or France needs to be eradicated? Because that's what they're saying here. Do you understand that? Does, it, does that hit, hit the, the note? Is that getting through? You know, what I do is I look to see who is driving the bus, who is responsible for people falling into this type of behavior. And it's a social structure that has been woven between uh, th through the Internet, through children's games, through the media having mass access to our children. And they're the ones who are creating this structure and then later on they say oh this needs to be destroyed so i'm hoping people can see past like the the people who are um i don't know i don't want to say that anyone is is disturbed but they are there's there's a disturbance going through the social structure and it's really causing quite a fray it's like a moral disturbance and there's a group of beings who are uh higher than us on a you know on not on like a non-human level they are dictating this and they are they do have mass reach through our media to our children and this is what's being created because on both sides those trying to hold the structure together the moral structure moral fabric together and those who are making it fray i mean they both are this is coming from from their hearts so we're just fighting heart against heart and that's where we have to realize there is a higher level it's the ants. Look to the ants. The black ants and the red ants will get along just fine. But if you shake up that thing, that colony, they're going to go after each other. And that's what we have now. Yeah, history repeats itself. And this is exactly the same situation as back then. So you will have people because they are, you know, thinking of themselves as Christian, automatically siding with Israel, even though what happened here was a genocide. And so I ask you to think about this, you know, do, do you think every single person in the U.S. should be considered, um, you know, of, of the same substance as the Canaanites, you know, and others that were totally wiped out, even though their leadership might have been very twisted. Right. Their leadership could have been very twisted. Our leadership is really twisted. But m most of us are not that twisted. <laughs> That's the bottom line. Most of us don't like what's going on. We don't like what we're seeing. We, we, we love to see peace and we don't approve of all these you know, dark acts uh, that the political, um, pr the political figures and, and others, you know, obviously, when you look at politics, it's, it's no different than acting. So whether we're talking about Hollywood or D.C., they're on the same agenda. It's mind control. It's mind control of the masses. And yeah, absolutely. So this is the, the point is, 
<clears throat> not every single uh you know they'll say oh well they they sacrificed you know all sorts of horrible things right well we we, we see all that now that's coming to the surface the same thing but it doesn't mean all 300 and whatever 35 40 million people in the u.s uh are like the leadership we're we're not all hunters we're we're not all jbs and we're not all dts you know this is the reality of it and yet <clears throat> the judgment is is the thing that comes down on everybody it's not about the creator this this whole abrahamic system is is all a system that has been completely constructed every bit of this is coming from the control system in place again when you look to names of god it doesn't say you know god or creator or whatever it says adonai which that does translate as lord yahweh it, it, it might as well talk about lord vader because it's the same sort of energy here exactly actually it's more like uh the emperor as opposed to vader because vader did end up doing the right thing in the end right so again it says who who is going to get all this going it's yahweh himself that's going to tell them to do this and is going to get people to fight each other so you know again Yahweh is is recognized by the Gnostics as the very you know evil itself the devil Satan you know the ultimate evil is Yahweh so when you look at the uh, ancient Gnostic sects they held that the God of the Old Testament was the devil and the Bible his evil message to corrupt humanity can anybody doubt they were right you know really read it for yourself I mean I read it cover to cover first when I was 11 and I was reading what I could since the time I was five years old. So, yes, I, I've read it cover to cover countless times, countless times. And I've read multiple translations. I used to sit there before there was the Internet, and I would compare translations because I had half a dozen different versions at least. And I would look for, uh, you know, the consistencies and the inconsistencies. And then when I was a teenager, it hit me like a rock this is all extraterrestrials <laughs> it was just like boom that was over 40 years ago yeah you know here you have albert pike the same albert pike that said they're going to make three world wars that the secret societies and the real control system is going to recreate israel again through the rothschilds and he said the true name of satan the kabbalists say is yahweh yeah you know again it, this is so so obvious so you know the darkness is really that which has been controlled you know in control of the planet the entire time and we are just playing out the drama that they have uh, written for us so when people look and they say well the bible is coming you know to pass well, well yeah that's part of the script that's the root of scripture script you are living out hello wake up earth and these two are just having fun. This is what we should be doing. We should be out there with our angels and having a good time, you know, living from the earth. And there sh we shouldn't have to pay to live on our own planet. But these beings have gathered a way to get us together and fighting one another so much and feeding off of each other to such a high degree that here's where we are and we have to look and some you know detach from that system as much as you can everybody's at a different level you might not be able to detach from the system completely but maybe you can maybe you do have the means to completely detach from the system maybe there is a way but everybody to their highest degree possible we need to figure out where can we stop supporting these entities because they definitely do not have our best interest at heart isn't religion about you know what happens after we die well it's not a religion because the torah the five books of moses is silent on the afterlife no one knows why exactly the torah doesn't discuss the afterlife because it's not really a religion what what i see is these beings they're doing everything they can to simply master the 3d so they've taken the 3d and they've made it their own playground and not anyone else's when the reality of life 
3D, 4D, 5D, 6D, they all mesh together. That's just how life is supposed to go. And it's like these guys are trying to peel away the 3D and make it their own and nobody else's. Yeah. And, you know, when I was sharing about studying the Bible, the pseudepigrapha as well, uh, the Nag Hammadi, the Gnostic texts, the Talmud, the Koran, all of these. And to me, they're all tainted and they're all completely the Martian system. And that sounds a little crazy saying the Martian system. Well, again, why is Mars, you know, the god of war? And when you look to, again, the Sumerian, Akkadian, uh, and um, Babylonian texts, that clearly states, that, you know, that the control system does come actually here uh, via Mars, believe it or not. But again, you know, that's because they were humans and, and they, you know, so are we. But again, slightly different versions because there's been genetic altering going on the entire time. When you look at the Talmud, if you have a copy or if you don't have a copy, you could find the online copies. Uh, it, it's not about the afterlife. It's about here and now. This is the revelation. It's about taking control and, and ruling the planet uh, here and now is really what it's all about. As Cindy was saying, yeah, that that's it. It's not about the afterlife. It's not really a religion. It's about the here and now. Then all this starts to make sense because what do we have? You know, we have the whole political system, which which seems to be under the spell and control uh, of a certain group. And again, it's not the bulk of the group. The bulk of the group doesn't have a clue. You know, many people that are brought up in traditions don't have a clue about their tradition. That's that's really the, the sad fact of it. Many Christians have not read the, the Bible cover to cover, have not, have not studied it, have not looked into, well, what does this really say in Aramaic? What does this really say in the original Greek? What does this really say in the original Hebrew? No, they just go and they think that they're, you know, building the afterlife for themselves because they, they give 10% at church, or they say they're Christian, or they're wearing a cross. And meanwhile, they'll, they'll give a pass to acts of genocide and, and pure evil, because, you know, they, they just don't want to buck the system, and they don't want to stand out. People want to fit in. When two-thirds of the world is fit into a dark path, you know, you, you can't really uh, hope to ascend to high levels if you're... <laughs> If you're situated in the muck and the mire, and you don't even realize it is, is part of the problem, uh, that this is part of the problem that humanity has to discover, is that they manipulate us in every way, shape, and form. There is uh, nothing that cannot be questioned. Everything should be questioned. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, we have the ability to create our own world, and it's only human to want to fit in that's a survival instinct it's a and and the controllers know that so you know sometimes going against the grain isn't a bad thing uh but we got to figure this out we all need to come together and figure out a way to stop feeding them you can see well, you know where we're going to be in 2028 and what israel is going to look like this is this is the map of what they want to take over and again, it's all been, quote unquote, scriptured. It's all been put out in the play. So, yeah, absolutely. Spread the word. Wake up, people. We need to stop fighting each other because we're being manipulated by an outside force that gets us to do their will. So, you know, when they go and try to conscript people, say, hell no, we won't go. Uh, do not go. You know, again, you're damaging your soul when you... When you do these acts of, you know, again, it's not defending. I, I saw one tweet where they were uh, celebrating this gentleman's life. Uh, he just recently died. He was part of the paratroopers in the Battle of the Bulge. In the Battle of the Bulge, World War II, that was a key battle. And many paratroopers came down. Most of them were slaughtered just like in, in the beach invasion on Normandy. You know, two thirds to three quarters of the soldiers were were mowed down as they were getting off the ships and going onto the beach. And the guy had said that his thought was, as he's jumping out of the plane, "What a glorious way to die!" And I'm thinking, "No, what a foolish way to live!" And this is what we've been put up on a pedestal, and and we were sold. 
you know, you're fighting the great evil. The reality is you're serving the great evil. This is where we need to wake people up. And it's not through acts of violence, you know, that you're going to uh, lift up in frequency and vibration. It, it's in resisting that, resisting the ego when they pump up your, your pride and say, you live on the greatest nation. Yeah, they're going to wipe that nation off, you know, the map and they're going to redo it another time until that, you know, sad person that, hey, you live in the greatest nation. Now go get that guy. It's one big manipulation from start to finish. And, you know, I think what helps is if we catch ourselves in that knee-jerk reaction, if we're protecting something, it's like, hey, wait a minute, what am I really protecting? What, what am I really having this attitude for? You know, what am I really doing this thing for? Am, am I helping humanity as a whole or am I helping the control structure? I'm not asking or telling anyone you should break any laws but we should be very thoughtful about where we place our belief system and understanding the true belief system is so important because you know if if you don't believe in something if you don't stand for something you can fall for anything so that's the importance of understanding the religions and what they're about absolutely we look forward to your comments we give you thanks for your support source bless and namaste Namaste.